The lion at the moment is losing a little over $20,000 a year. The company which owns the lion has withdrawn its subsidy. Uh, it's been paying half the operational losses for passenger traffic and it's withdrawn. Uh, it claims it's legally entitled to do it. Uh, another reason is that the existing diesel unit which is on this line conveying passengers has just about expired. It's ready for the scrap heap and its replacement would cost about $200,000 for a new two-car diesel unit. Uh, well, what would a bus cost to replace it? Uh, a bus, we're putting on a special bus uh, in the morning and in the afternoon to cope uh, with the passenger traffic. Uh, a bus costs about $19,000 and it's operated with a driver and this of course makes an enormous difference in capital cost and in operational costs. Well is there any way the line could have been made more economic? Only by much more support. Uh, the peak journey in the morning was carrying about 40 people including some school children. In the afternoon it was carrying about 30. The other two journeys were carrying three passengers and seven passengers. Uh, when uh, I came into this position there was a clamour for the replacement of the steam engines and uh, uh, we uh, assumed that when diesel came in and replaced steam there would be an increase in the number of people using the train. In fact there has been a decrease in the numbers <laughs> using, the car using the train. Well, couldn't the uh, number using the train be boosted if the railway stations were uh, made a little bit more attractive to the, the uh, people using it? Uh, it may be, and I concede that the railway stations, which are owned by the coal company, uh, they're shanty town stuff. There's no, there's no inducement to people to use them. But under the old 1883 agreement, uh, and this was uh, a mighty long time ago now, the requirements that ought to have been put on the private company just were not there and uh, it's not possible to make too many demands on the company. Are you a regular user of this Belmont train? Yeah. Every morning? Yeah. What are you going to do now that's been taken off? We'll have to use the old thumb. How do you feel about the about the uh, train being finished? Oh, it's a great disappointment to many people because it's nearly the only way to get to work some mornings. Do you think it's faster than any other method of getting to work? Yeah, very fast. What do you think of the train going off? Well, I think it's a disappointment. I, I think that they... Uh, they could, should have persevered. I mean, the area must be going to go ahead. Uh, they're filling in all the swamps, so they must be going to uh, open up new estates or industrial areas. So there's an uh, opportunity there for a, a good train service. I, I think they're shirking their responsibility in taking it off. Uh, do you think it could have been kept on? Oh, I definitely do. It's packed of a morning and of a night time. And what about you? Do you use the train regularly? Well, I do use it about two or three times a week, but uh, it's very convenient for me because I get off at Broadmeadow and uh, the times suit me as far as travelling. Well, how do you feel about the train being taken off? Do you think they could have made more efforts to keep it on? I think so, yes. I counted 30 people on the train yesterday, so I think this is uh, quite a good crowd, you know, to keep the train on. Mr Alder, what have been your committee's main reasons for objecting to the termination of the service? Well, we feel that uh, over the years the Belmont Passenger Service has been run and that uh, as the years have gone by, the lake on the uh, eastern side of the boundary has shown a big increase in population that from now to the future the train service will be able to cater uh, much, for a much larger section of the community. It gives a faster surface. The point is that the Cahaba, it's only 16 minutes and it's 25 in the bus and in and 30 minutes out. Uh, when you're going, coming home at 5 o'clock, well, this is a big thing. Well, do you have any hope of the service being resumed? I don't know. I, I, I've been told that uh, at Belmont, uh, if the service stops off for five years, that the uh, Red Air State Company can sell the land, and as the station is a in a beautiful position for housing and residential, 
and lovely flat ground, I think, that uh, the radio company will try to keep it off in order to sell the land. It will be worth a considerable amount of money in uh, five, five years' time. Well, do you have any plans for uh, immediately to try to bring it back on? Uh, well, we are still endeavouring to get the minister to reconsider his position, and uh, I have recently discussed the matter even with the manager of David Jones, as he was not even aware of the fact that the Belmont train line was so close to Katara Fia. Uh, I mentioned to him about the fact that several people had said that if the service continued and a platform was built at Katara Fia, that they would go to Katara Fia because the train would give a direct access to that where the buses don't. Well, how many people have been actively uh, campaigning for the retention of the service? Well, I, I, all the progress associations, uh, Whitebridge, Cahiva, Redhead uh, and Belmont, the Chamber of Commons at Belmont, uh, different ALP organisations, the municipal ALP and the different branches of the ALP, and uh, the Liberal Party in one section. Uh, as far as Belmont's concerned, there is this to be said, the line will be maintained in first class condition and this line can uh, operate uh, passenger traffic should the need arise. The, tra the line is not being scrapped and pulled up, it will be in existence. Thank you. 